Hey y'all, this is Corey from Cheeky Little Piggy Farm. I wanted to show you something super exciting that I just love doing in the winter months when the farm is kind of asleep and you have an indoor project that you need to work on. So this is something I do late at night when the kids are sleeping and it's just some me time where I can throw out some great music and make something beautiful. So we are beekeepers, as you know, we run about 20 to 30 hives, um, give or take if we have a lot of swarm calls in the spring. And we are constantly, you know, scraping off um, the tops of the um, frames and we're getting little bits of wax. And what we do is we take all of those little bits of nasty pieces that can have cocoons or bee butts or anything in it. Um, sometimes it can be black, like really old comb. And a lot of people say, throw that old comb away. We do not. We do not waste anything from our beehives. They have put so much work into that, that we will take the extra step and render it down. Sometimes it takes multiple um, renderings, <laughs> multiple filtrations to get it that nice golden brown um, that you see in candles. So like this one, beautiful. But you know how we got this? It did not come this way. It did not come this color or this lovely smell. It actually, um, when you get a lot of that old comb and it's black and it's got all the bee pieces in it, my kids call them bee butts, um, it smells kind of rancid like rotting bugs. But we keep all that and all year long, we'll take all the little pieces and we throw them in a tote. I'm gonna show you the tote, it's kind of gross. This is our tote. Look at that. I mean, it's really dry. It's really gross. There are actual bee butts. There's, you know, little pieces of debris that get in the hive. But you know what? This is liquid gold. We have so many uses for fresh beeswax. Not only do we make beeswax candles, we put it in our beeswax lotion bars. Um, I'll link a description down below that we have on our website at our, at our farm stand. We make beeswax lip balms because I know exactly what went in there and what was not added in there no chemicals for us and it's just a better way to make cosmetics and lotion products in our opinion um so we make candles different cosmetic type items but also we put that right back into our hives so when we're getting a new um, swarm or we're switching out our equipment and having like new frames a bees they're not going to want to build out or it's going to take a long time um, for them to build that um, those frames out with wax, even if you use foundation, because it says it's wax, but it's it's, it's so minor. They do not, they're not as success, successful um, unless you put your own layer of wax on them. So that's what we do, and we feel like it boosts them like a whole extra week, which is huge in the Oregon spring and summers during our flow, because it's like this tiny little time. Um, so we wanna give them as big a head start as possible. So we take our melted beeswax and I'll just have it in like a little container that I melt and we'll take like a pastry brush. Uh, it's really nasty at this point, but it always melts right back down and we will um, brush it on all of our frames before we put it in a new hive or if we're switching out frames because they smell that and they, they can just bring it right out. So they will mold it into your, you know, hex shape and it gives them such a boost. So no part of beeswax is wasted for us here. It takes a lot of time, a lot of effort, and this is why we wait till this, the winter months to do that. When it's freezing cold and nasty outside, you can probably find me either in my canning kitchen or in the house kitchen if I'm watching the littles and making some beeswax candles because it's a hoot and everyone should do it. So I'm gonna bring you by how we do that. So we take that bin of nastiness, all the bee butts, all the black comb, and we're gonna filter it a couple of different times. Um, so I'm gonna show you that if I can. So we have all of these pots and pans. It's kind of, you know, wax zone over here. These are all from the Goodwill or from um, garage sales. We never use anything new. So I have designated pans for wax melting. Um, people can use um, like a, a crock pot that works too. Um, we use our crock pods, even though we have like 12 of them. So I just use these different old pans. And then I know that I can just kind of beat them up and it's fine because I get them at the Goodwill. And it's reusing something, which we really like. So I'll take a big one 
and I will put all of that nasty stuff in this big pot. And I'm not trying to strain it, all I'm trying to do is melt it at this point. So I just melt that down really slow, low and slow, um, and then I will take, where are my cotton gloves? So I have these giant filters. I couldn't even tell you where I got them. Um, they're like oil filters. So I have these giant filters that I use and they're fantastic. So all I do is I put it on one of my smaller pots. So I'll take this big pot that has all the nasty melted gunk. I'll put it, this filter around here. And I usually use like these little clips. So I do this. I just kind of get it steady. And this is just the first straining. So I get it on there. And you can find these at the Dollar Tree. Like, literally, don't spend a lot of money on this. And then I find one of these at the Goodwill. A disgusting strainer. It can be old, it can be used, it doesn't matter. So I just hook that onto my pan. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pour wax from this big pot into this one and that's the first straining so i recommend putting like uh paper probably not paper actually because it will melt but something in between so you're not um you know you don't spill and pour i already did that today and you can see i've got some nice burns on my hand but you know i was sloppy my two-year-old was talking to me at the time so it happened so then all i do is i take this like this is a one cup measuring plastic measuring cup and I just pour it in. And I do that until it's relatively full. So that's the first straining. And as you can see, it gets all of the big nasty chunks out. So that's, this is the first straining that I do. And then the filter does the second straining. So if you don't need to have it like super clean, if this is just to put back on your hives, you could probably get by with just this, just that um, the strainer and then the filter, that would probably be okay. For our products, we like to take it a step farther. And so look, you can just pull this out and I'll reuse this over and over again. It's kind of awesome. So I'll reuse that. And then I take whatever's this pot. And if you're a really steady hand, that's awesome. I'm not awesome at that, but I will pour it into, this is my favorite. So this one I actually brought online. It has, it's just like a little, um, like pouring metal pouring thing and I will just pour this in here and I put a little mini filter on top I cut that down and I put a little mini one on and this is taking any of the smaller debris that maybe got through and it's taking it one step farther whoops almost lost you there so you see here super easy Sometimes you can let it sit for just a minute if there's um, you know, a lot of debris in there, but honestly, that takes a lot of time and it also will cool this off and I don't want this cooled off. I want this nice and hot. So today I've already made tons of adorable little candles. Like look at this tree. This is stinking adorable. I've made little duckies, Ooh, little duckies. And then my ultimate favorite, ultimate favorite, the moose. <laughs> we moved from Alaska, so I have to have the moose, have to represent that. All right, mindful, I don't have any makeup. Hair's a hot mess because you work on a farm and I don't care, all those people that are on TikTok and YouTube videos that have like, they're all dolled up with makeup. Girl, you have not been out on the farm today. There's no way that that would look that good after going out to the chicken coop or the pig pen. You just look a hot mess all the time. So this is the best I can do. Have a nice little filter on the camera. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my favorite little pot here. It's just a little handheld, probably holds maybe a quart. And then we pour it into our mold. And I have a silicone mat underneath this. You see this purple mat that my husband bought me online and I just love it because the wax comes right off. It covers all my tabletops. Um, 
and just so it just peels right out. So that was not enough, but I will fill that up. And as you can see, I don't do anything fancy. I have got a rubber band around this sucker. I've got my favorite wicks, and then it, this is just look, this is just a popsicle stick with a little hole in it, and it just holds that piece. Some people will take tape and to keep this tight, but I found if you just take a little piece of wax and just push the wick into it, it holds it super steady, and I don't have to bother with a bunch of tape. So one less step for me. So I take all that and I let that sit. It's best if it sits for, I don't know, like at least a few hours. Overnight is best, so I'll do a whole bunch of these. Um, I'll fill every mold that I have and then let them sit overnight. So then I have these little molds. Aren't these cute? This one will end up being this adorable little beehive with the three little bees on it. So these ones I love putting in our little gift sets. Um, and they're, I mean, they're kind of like a votive size, but much more adorable. And so I have those and then I will unmold them. And here I have one that has been sitting just for like an hour or two, not, not very long, but it's a smaller one. So I'll just pop off that toothpick or popsicle stick, give it a little wiggle and it should come out. Voila, look at how beautiful that is. And you know what? I don't waste any of it. All that stuff that people would have thrown away and said it's too much work. Yeah, it is a little bit of work, but it's fun. It's definitely fun. And it shows your kids um, that you don't waste anything and that, you know, your work is valued because you get something like this. And then all these little pieces like that are on my, that I spilled, because I spill a lot, that are on my silicone mat. I just peel those off. Any little bits from the molds, anything I spill on the floor, I just scrape right back up and I toss back in the pot because all of that's gonna be melted right back down. It's gonna go in my next set of pouring and then it's gonna make a candle. So that's kind of how I do it. Um, another way, if you don't have candle molds or you're not wanting to make candles, but you wanna be able to render your wax and make it like as clean as possible and store it, what we do is super cheap, you can go buy these new or anytime you go to like Starbucks or somewhere, these have like a little wax coating on the inside. Um, it helps the wax not to stick. So we just take these old cups and we pour it in. And then afterwards when either we store it like this or I can take this cup. It's going to be hard for me so I look ridiculous. So and then I just take this, open it up. All right, the bottom's still on it, but you get the point. You have this perfect, clean piece of beeswax that's super easy to store. Always store it in um, a container with a lid because you can get wax moths in there, and then it's just disgusting. It just ruins your wax, so you have to render it all over again. So look at this is perfection, and it wasn't wasted. So if you like this video, let us know. Give us a thumbs up. Hit subscribe. We are newer to the YouTube world, but we have a two-acre homestead in boring oregon and we're just trying to show people what you can do on a small amount of property and you can be fully self-sustaining or pretty darn close to it and raising bees and making our own honey and making our own beeswax candles for extra money that's just a way that we do it and so i hope it shows people that there are so many uses for different products that your homestead can um, provide for you that you just got to get creative because how awesome is that all right, thanks for watching. Have a great day.